Y'all was hitting me up like crazy in the DMs at the King Sid and Diamond went live at the same event. So King Sid was hosting a comedy show. He went live on the side of the stage at the event. And then Diamond also went live on the side of the stage at the same event. Now, before I tell y'all what happened last night, Diamond is single. Her and her boyfriend did break up. She packed up his stuff. They unfollowed each other on social media. If you're wondering, yes, Diamond did get his name tattered on the side of her hand, but she is single and so is King Sid. Stop worrying about what the I am doing. Mind your motherfucking business. God damn. Now back to last night, cause this is what had my DMs going crazy. Not only did y'all notice that King Sid and Diamond was at the same event, but Diamond's ex-boyfriend also noticed as well. He posted up to his social media. He said, if it ain't all mine, keep it. Now after the ex-boyfriend posted that to his social media, King Sid posted up a girl's hand on his thigh to his IG stories, which a lot of y'all thought that was Diamond. Until I did a little research and went to Bree's IG story, which I saw that her hand and the girl hand in that video was similar. So she was at the event last night. So that means that Diamond, Bree, and King Sid was backstage, which that was awkward. Cause y'all know that Brie and Diamond do not get along. They had an old I think the year before last. Nah. She's, so ugly. she's oh, what? In, in, in person, she's so ugly. The road. They they twerk some, babe. No, it's God. It's God. Shake it. Shake it fast. Twerk some. Twerk some. Twerk I'm gonna go curse. Why like, are you here? Oh, you're my boyfriend. Brie, look, look. I, w I would you know let you do you, yes. but you're too pretty for that. Right? And ever since then, they never liked each other. So, child, I already know it was very intense back then. But keep in mind that King Sid is still single. Even though he's hanging out with Brie, which is his ex girlfriend, he is still single. So he's free to do whatever he wants. And now Diamond is free to do whatever she wants. But let's talk about Kennedy because today is her 23rd birthday. Happy birthday, Kennedy. Now, DDG gave his mother for her birthday a diamond watch. And that same Carter watch with the red box with the same design as his mother's was also gifted to Kennedy as well on that same day. So it was for her birthday, but he gave both of them their watches on the mother's birthday. And when Kennedy received her watch, she actually posted to social media because that's her way of telling him that she received her gift because he's blocked on all social medias, including her phone. Now, according to closed sources, not only did DDG give her the watch, but he also gave her a ticket to Mexico as well to go along with him and his family. But she declined and she ended up spending her birthday with close friends and family. Look at this, y'all. It's so cute. <laughs> Aww. Oh my goodness. Hey, what they say, Corey? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I know y'all want DDG and Kennedy to be together, but I think Kennedy saw that whole thing that he went through with Ruby Rose and she got flashbacks and was like, oh, hell no. But guess what? She ain't gonna give that watch back though. She don't give back the gifts. She takes all the gifts. <laughs> she just ain't taking him. Period. Now let's talk about Chris Sales because over the weekend he announced that he just found out that he has another son by the name of Roman Sales, which according to Chris Sales, he now has four sons. Wow. That's a lot of money. I don't think nobody gonna lie about that, but a lot of people are saying that he's lying, that that's not really his child. That's really his mother's forced child. Now I do know that Chris Sales said in his previous video that he was adopted, that his current mother adopted several children, but I don't think she's adopting any more children. And she did post it on her social media. She said, I am the mother of six Chris, Mercedes, Nettie, Dwayne, Trinity, and David. I don't have any foster children. So all the children that she did have, she adopted. Now these new children coming in, she ain't got nothing to do with that. And I don't think Chris would lie about having children, especially children that he has to take care of financially. I know already this month, he already had baby mama drama where he had to deal with some mess already. So I don't think he want to add to that at all. So if he's saying this is his child, I think this is really his child. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. But let's talk about Maude in Paris. Cause in my previous video, Paris was upset that Maude was ignoring her and coming to find out Maude was actually locked up. So I thought after Maude got out and he saw her video that he would reach out to her, but he's still ignoring her. So sis, Maude don't want to be with you. But she did address it because people were asking her over and over. So I guess she got frustrated and answered the question. So I'm just gonna put it right here in this video because I'm ready to move on from there. Like I'm ready for y'all to stop asking me about people. Like I'm just ready for that to be done. So what happened with Man Mod? Are Man Mod cool? What happened? So basically what happened was nothing happened, okay? The only thing that I can say is that he just stopped responding to me and he's probably going through like a lot of stuff. Like you just never know what people's going through. Um, my thing was, um, I did, I was like, I was saying like, damn, like he just go ignore me, blah, blah, blah. 
or because I did hit him up a few times. I hit him up twice. I can't remember how many times I hit him up, but I know I hit him up. I called and he didn't respond. And that was that. And we just stopped like talking or whatever. Are we still cool? I don't, we, there's no like, <laughs> I don't know how to say it because it's like, we just like, he's, he got his thing going on, I got my thing going on. And yeah, like to answer y'all questions, there's no beef between me and my, me and my ain't beefing. We just, he's doing his thing and I'm doing my thing. We did what we did on YouTube and will we ever get back on YouTube together? I don't know. Okay, so I just really would, I would love for you guys to stop asking me about my, I would love to just move past that until we actually do another video together, if we decide to do that. Okay? Okay. Comprende? Oro? You get it? Is it clicky? Okay. Do I have, am I seeing someone? Am I dating? And I wouldn't say, I am seeing somebody. I am seeing someone and yeah, that's all I'm saying. But we haven't like, you know, I'm still, you know, taking it easy. I'm, you know, just going with the flow. Like, it's not that deep to me to, you know, break my abstinence. But yes, your girl has a new boo. Boo, boo, boo. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if you're abstinence, if you're practicing abstinence, do it. Now before I go, Blogmas starts this week. Yay! I pin gift card numbers. I do cash giveaways. So make sure you have your notification on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you comment. And when you comment and at the end of your comment, make sure you're adding your cash app because I'm picking random people to win cash prizes. So you just never know. But you have to comment then add your cash app because then the system is going to see it as spam and you're not going to be added and they're going to delete your comments. Now I am going to be posting up the winners on my community tab as well as I'm going to be doing random giveaways on my community tab. So this is why I'm saying turn your notifications on because you won't know unless you have them on. I might also be going live on my second channel. So definitely subscribe to that channel as well. As well as I'm going to be posting up some more videos on there. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, peace.